people passing businesses with the counties also talk of an elaborate network of county assembly speakers, leaders of majority, CECs, county work supervisors, and county clerks, among others, whose sole purpose is to make money from public works projects. The officials have the capacity and audacity to paralyze, delay, and st stall development projects. MCAs and county speakers are particularly being accused of a conflict of interest. Often, they are the contractors, while at the same time purporting to be carrying out oversight roles. The quest for cuts has also led to a craze for allowances by members of county assemblies that is also paralyzing counties. Governors have to pay for their cabinet to be approved. <laughs> to date, there are counties that are yet to form full cabinet because of the standoff between governors and MCS. Members of county assemblies are constantly on so-called benchmarking and team building trips that are essentially acts of bribery by the executive to have their agenda approved and a quest for allowances. This corruption network is eating devolution from inside out. We have to stop it or it will altogether kill our most important gift to ourselves ever since our forefathers brought us independence. <laughs>